Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Understanding Membrane Electrode Assemblies in PEM Devices The Membrane Electrode Assembly MEA, is the pivotal component of a proton exchange membrane PEM, fuel cell or electrolyzer. It serves as the centerpiece of the electrochemical process that propels these devices, be it for power generation in fuel cells or hydrogen production in electrolyzers. 1. Proton Exchange Membrane PEM. The PEM, also known as a polymer electrolyte membrane, is a thin, solid polymer sheet. This membrane is specially designed to allow the passage of protons, positively charged hydrogen ions, while acting as an insulator for electrons. The PEM's dual function makes it the primary conductor of protons from the anode to the cathode while enforcing the pathway of electrons through the external circuit. This separation is essential to create an electric current in the case of fuel cells, or conversely, to drive the water-splitting reaction in electrolyzers. The PEM must possess high proton conductivity to maximize the device's efficiency. At the same time, it needs to maintain excellent mechanical stability and chemical resistance to withstand the harsh operating conditions and prolong the device's lifespan. Therefore, the choice of material for the PEM is critical. One of the most popular materials used for PEMs is a sulfonated tetrafluoroethylene-based fluoropolymer copolymer, commercially known as nafione. Nafione is highly favored due to its superior proton conductivity and excellent resistance to the oxidative environment within the cell. However, nafione and similar materials tend to be expensive, leading to ongoing research for more cost-effective alternatives. 2. Electrodes, anode and cathode. The electrodes are where the electrochemical reaction happens. They are typically made from porous carbon-based materials and are designed to facilitate gas diffusion and provide a high surface area for the electrochemical reactions. In a PEM fuel cell, the anode, the negative electrode, is the site of hydrogen gas splitting. The supplied hydrogen gas gets separated into protons and electrons under the influence of a catalyst. Conversely, at the cathode, the positive electrode, oxygen gas from the air combines with the protons transported through the PEM and the electrons traveling through the external circuit to form water, the only byproduct of a PEM fuel cell. In a PEM electrolyzer, these reactions happen in reverse. At the anode, water molecules are split to form oxygen and protons. The protons then traverse the PEM to the cathode, where they combine with electrons from the external circuit to produce hydrogen gas. 3. Catalyst Layer The catalyst layer plays a central role in accelerating the electrochemical reactions at the electrodes. It is usually composed of precious metals such as platinum, iridium, or ruthenium, known for their excellent catalytic properties. These layers are typically applied directly onto the surface of the PEM or the gas diffusion layer of the electrodes. They create a three-phase interface where the reactant gas, catalyst, and ion-conducting membrane meet, providing the ideal conditions for efficient electrochemical reactions. In a PEM fuel cell, the catalyst facilitates the splitting of hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons at the anode. It also aids the reaction of oxygen molecules with protons and electrons to form water at the cathode. In a PEM electrolyzer, the catalyst serves to expedite the splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. In conclusion, the MEA is the working heart of any PEM fuel cell or electrolyzer. It houses the key electrochemical reactions enabling the conversion of chemical energy to electrical energy in a fuel cell, or vice versa in an electrolyzer. Its design, composition, and assembly significantly influence the device's overall performance, efficiency, and durability. Given its pivotal role, the research and development of more efficient and durable MEAs are subjects of intensive study in the field of fuel cell and electrolyzer technology. Scientists and engineers are continuously exploring new materials and fabrication techniques to optimize the performance of each component of the MEA. For instance, advancements in catalyst development focus on reducing the use of expensive noble metals such as platinum and iridium. Researchers are investigating alloy catalysts and non-metal catalysts that can maintain high catalytic activity at a lower cost. The challenge lies in creating catalysts that not only match the activity of noble metals but also their durability, as the catalyst must withstand thousands of hours of operation under harsh conditions. On the other hand, the PEM itself is a subject of ongoing research. While nafione remains the industry standard, its high cost and performance limitations under low humidity conditions drive the quest for alternatives. 
Some potential directions include hydrocarbon-based membranes and composite membranes, which incorporate inorganic materials to improve conductivity and durability. Regarding the electrodes, efforts are made to improve their microstructure to achieve optimal gas diffusion, water management, and catalyst utilization. This involves fine-tuning the porosity, thickness, and hydrophobicity of the electrodes, which can have a significant impact on the overall efficiency and power density of the device. Moreover, the assembly process of the MEA is equally important. The interfaces between the membrane and the electrodes must be free from defects to ensure efficient ion transport and minimize electrical losses. Advanced fabrication techniques, such as hot pressing and catalyst coated membrane CCM, methods, are employed to achieve a good bond between the MEA components. In the broader perspective, the development of improved MEAs contributes to the viability of PEM fuel cells and electrolyzers as sustainable energy technologies. By enhancing their performance and reducing their cost, these devices can become more competitive with conventional energy technologies, facilitating the transition towards a greener, hydrogen-based economy. In summary, the MEA is not just the heart of a PEM device but the focus of a continuous quest for innovation. As we venture further into the era of sustainable energy, the importance of this small but mighty component will only continue to grow. Its advancement will inevitably power the progress of PEM fuel cells and electrolyzers, steering us towards a cleaner and more sustainable future. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.